The throttle body sensor, also called a throttle position sensor or TPS, is a small yet essential part of your car's engine, as it helps the throttle body manage how much air enters the engine. The throttle body sensor sends real-time data to your car's computer, the engine control module or ECM, telling it how far the throttle is open. This helps the ECM adjust the fuel mixture and ignition timing for smooth and efficient engine performance. To really understand the role of the throttle body sensor, it could be likened to a translator between your gas pedal and the engine. When you press your car accelerator, the sensor measures the throttle's position, like how open it is, and then sends the information to the ECM. The ECM then calculates how much fuel and air are needed to meet your demand. So, without a functioning throttle body sensor, your engine's performance can be all over the place because the ECM won't be getting the right instructions and therefore might not provide the right amount of air and fuel needed to run your car smoothly. So, what are the signs and symptoms of a bad throttle body position sensor? First, you will notice an uneven or erratic idling. If your engine is idle rough or seems like it's hunting for the right speed, chances are it is due to a bad or faulty sensor not being able to send the right info to the ECM thereby confusing the ECM and making it hard to regulate the idling speed properly. Next, you will have difficulty accelerating because the ECM isn't getting accurate information to adjust fuel and air intake. Sudden engine stalling. If your engine stalls or cuts out unexpectedly, it could be a faulty throttle body sensor sending incorrect signals. Check engine light. The check engine light, though not all the time, might come on if the ECM detects irregular readings from the sensor. For this, you can use an OBD2 scanner to pull up the error codes. Common error codes for faulty throttle body sensors include P0120, P0121, P0122, and P0123. I will link an affordable and efficient OBD2 scanner in the description for you. The next sign to look out for is reduced fuel efficiency. A malfunctioning sensor throws off the air-fuel ratio, making your car guzzle more fuel than it is meant to. Finally, a jerky or delayed response. If your car jerks forward or responds slower than expected, this can be another sign of a faulty throttle body sensor. Also, remember that issues such as transmission problems, fuel injectors, or even a bad mass airflow sensor could also cause jerky responses. So don't just conclude that it is a throttle body sensor problem if this is the only symptom you notice. Now what causes the throttle body sensor to go bad? Well, several factors could damage it. Wear and tear. This is normal, like any electronic part. The throttle body sensor can wear out over time with repeated use and exposure to engine heat, causing it to degrade. Clogs and dirt. Dirt, grime, or carbon buildup on the throttle body can indirectly affect the sensor's performance by causing erratic throttle operation, which the sensor tries to interpret but gets wrong, sending incorrect data to the ECM. Electrical issues. Faulty wiring or corroded connections can disrupt the sensor's signal to the ECM. Mechanical damage. Physical damage to the throttle body or sensor, often due to improper handling during maintenance, can cause malfunctions. Moisture intrusion. Water or moisture entering the sensor can short-circuit its electronics, leading to failure. Now that we've covered the causes, let's look at what you can do to address these issues. So, you have identified one of the mentioned signs. Here's what you can do. Use an OBD2 scanner to check for the error codes mentioned earlier. Inspect the throttle body and look for dirt or carbon buildup. If any, cleaning the throttle body might resolve the issue if the sensor isn't completely damaged. Test the sensor for fault or damage using a multimeter to check if the sensor is producing the correct voltage signals. We will have a video linked in the description box on how to run the test. Now, if cleaning or testing confirms the sensor is bad or damaged due to wear, tear or any reason, the best course of action will be to replace the sensor. Make sure you get a quality replacement part that matches your vehicle's specifications. For that, you can check your owner's manual or do a Google search of your car model with the part specs. So basically, a failing throttle body sensor can lead to idling issues, poor acceleration and higher fuel consumption. Timely repairs and regular maintenance can prevent these problems. If you find this video to be helpful, be sure to watch our other video here on the signs of a bad EGR valve and DIY cleaning hack for the valve. I will see you in the next video. Bye.